14th of August 2018, Tuesday. This serial hamster is a female, one year, 10 months old. Uh, she came back again for the complaint of the same, same condition. There's pus inside the swelling under the chin. But because the, the abscess was drained and uh, the pus still is there, although it's how many days already? It's about more than two weeks. According to the owner, there's still some pus coming out. Why are you shining? Uh, it's really shine onto it. Uh. Okay, so the things that I have to go and open up and something deep inside. But the wound hasn't really closed yet. Correct. So every day we have been cleaning the wound. Yeah. Then there, there's a bit of uh, greenish discharge uh, every day. It's deep in. Uh. It deep inside. This lump only appeared like yeah, actually, yesterday. Her condition was totally okay until Recover. yesterday. Yeah. Until yesterday, we noticed the redness. I mean, back, back to the previous. Recover. Yeah, she, she actually recovered. Her uh, activities became like normal every day. Until like maybe yesterday, I think. I think we noticed that it built up again. Mm, build up. Even though the wound hasn't really closed up. The legs. Okay, I have the medical record here. So, it came in, you can see there's a big swelling under the neck. And uh, it was on the 11th of July, which is how many days already? Nearly a month, uh, more than a month ago. And uh, so this abscess was lunch and drained under anesthetic. But the the, the pus still keep coming out. That's what you say, right? Mm, no, she was very. She was okay for maybe three weeks. Right. But the wound hasn't closed, like, Even though it's one month. So after that, we saw that her neck there was a tiny abscess again. Yeah, like still near near where the wound is still open. There's like on the, the left side. Mm, yeah. It's a. This is a very gentle hamster. But it's been right eating, right? Yeah, it's been eating everything as per normal. Yeah, I see there's a hole there. Yeah, the wound. This is what we call a. We call a. Sinus. That means that the past, there's a hole there. It's either sinus or fistula. Fistula means connection of mucous membrane to mucous membrane. That means it might be connected to the mouth. This, this wound. Uh. This is the lensing wound. Right? Yeah, but the other side might be the mouth. So it didn't close, close well, is it? Okay, so the best is to go out there and and check whether it connects to the mouth or not. If it connects to the mouth, that's the reason why it didn't close well. Then we have to clean up deep in, uh, deep inside the. But previously, wound, uh. previously you didn't know it's connected to the mouth or not. Yeah, in previously, connect. when you. Yeah, previously it's whole very big swelling, right? Mm. So we, we cut it three cuts actually, one, two, three, okay. three cuts. So the other two side okay already. And uh, we, we then cut too deep because after it, it doesn't eat. So so now we know that it didn't, when it doesn't close, huh? that means it's normally connected to the mouth. But how come oh, hmm? she will still keep having the the past coming yeah, it was after in. so long even though we gave her antibiotics for like 20, 20 days mm -hmm. because the, the there's something deep in which which prevents the closing uh, of the wound uh. okay so i need to go in and dig out uh, whatever is inside uh. it could be hairs or something stuck inside so the wound cannot close uh. but you can see the hamster is very active uh. so it's not a serious infection uh. Just compared to last time. We thought she fully recovered already, but the wound didn't close, so we just kept cleaning it true, true. until maybe yesterday. It comes again, right? Yeah, every day I was looking at her neck. Didn't really have the lump until yesterday. Hmm. So I need to go in and look, look inside the mouth. Have to be under anesthetic. I, I need to look under the tongue. Uh, further deep in. Because this one's the chin, you see? The chin is. Below the mouth is a chin, I mean. Okay. Oh, so, so it could be the side of the chin. Uh. So the 
touch me left side and touch the chin. It's yeah. something stuck inside. Uh. Oh, to remove the thing that's stuck inside. I need to go in uh, and dig it out. Uh. But after that, will the like, pass stop? Yeah, you, 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 you remove must. the foreign body. You call it the foreign body. Uh. So once you remove it, okay already. But I need to go and see, because it's not like cat, very easy to dog and cat, because it's big. No? Mm -hmm. there, there, there is a condition in, hey, don't even lick the, there's a condition in, in dogs called the oral nasal fistula, that means the abscess uh, from the root of the tooth, uh, goes to the, goes to the face, you see. So we remove the tooth, then okay. The tooth? Well, I mean the dog. Uh, oh. the dog. This one I need to check. Can't really finish it.